when I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. And we're back for the bonus footage. Wow. Man, I tell you, <laughs> this has been exciting so far. And we're back with Brandy Nicole and Matt Holt. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, uh, you know, Brandy's been telling us about uh, how uh, she thinks of, of I Matt do. and his retirement. I, I, I feel like right. he looks like a retired police officer. A retired police officer. You I'm said you do get that a lot, though. I don't, I don't get it into the detail that you know, Brandy it, has provided. If you walk the streets of New York City with like a button down shirt and like a, a sports jacket on mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. they would label you cop all day long uh yeah and a lot of this came when um i went through a period of time where i was wearing a, a sport coat on stage so after the show is when people would say it yeah so i could totally but I've say also it. been I just sitting it. in a bar like this and someone would be like so you, are you a cop or what I'm like no i'm not a cop <laughs> I, I cannot like pick out a feature that i'm like cop right but i i get that huh all right. Well. Yeah, you know, I, I just I, I can see it, but it's you know, it is what it is. Right. Well, I don't mind the I can see it, but when she takes it to a level <laughs> that I'm hated by people. Hey, I deliver. Like, I don't hate you. No, no, I, I appreciate it. I don't hate you. But, uh, she's <laughs> trying to kill me off. Uh, all I'm saying <laughs> is it's been 35 years in the business. 35. They. You've been working your butt off. You finally got the guy you were after, mm -hmm. and then. But so you're saying he wouldn't even wear a bulletproof vest or anything at his retirement party? No, he's got on the Hawaiian shirt and he's had a few scotches. Okay, I'm not a scotch guy. You're, are you a he scotch guy? A a bourbon. Guy. He's a bourbon guy. Bourbon. Not, not today. Not, not today. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> well, if everyone's listening, they want to take my bourbon collection. So I apparently have thought. to get rid of that now. Yeah, yeah you got to go with scotch. Apparently, I don't know. Huh. That's why people hate me. I'm fucking. A, I'm a scotch oh, drinker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they're it's always. The worst. They're always assholes yes. all of them they are all right. and 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 given that i've known matt for a couple of years now he's not an asshole he's not well time will tell wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How, much, how much are you going to be around i need to figure that out <laughs> is brandy a comic are you are you doing stand-up she, she no a... no i don't do much of anything okay. i just kind of float around i'm just trying to decide how much i'm going to have to run into you hardly well i'm here. a little bit of a groupie that's kind of how i met josh like you were saying when you met brad you know i just kind of wow. she's really giving you a lot there i apprentice with no <laughs> no aspects of doing the actual job okay. i want to do zero work well you're doing a good job so far <laughs> <laughs> thank you just knocking it out of the park that's right. <laughs> What you got coming up? Uh, like um, you said, you got two weeks off. Where are you going after two that? Two weeks off, and then uh, I'm actually doing a. Uh, I'm doing my first ever stand up in my hometown. Oh, uh, um, uh, Michigan, Moore, Mooresville, Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Yeah, yeah. I so, thought you didn't you live in Michigan? I lived for a in while? Michigan for a couple of years. Okay, but you are from Indiana. You from did say Indiana, that. Yeah, so, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, so I'm doing a, a show there, um, and it's with a buddy of mine who's featuring for me, Jimmy Roberson who's also from my hometown. Awesome. We're like nine years apart. And uh, it's going to be a blast. I think it's going to be, it's a free show. I think it's sold, it, it should sell out. It should pack the place out. It's like a 400 seat venue. Nice. And uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of cool. I'll see people that probably owe me money from high school. So it'll be great. <laughs> Do you see a family up there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that'll be a good time. Uh, it's, you know, not a big, not a big event, but I'm doing that. And then, uh, the other, uh, I'm going to be at Dr. Grin's uh, the last week of August um, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Right. And uh, then I'm also doing a big benefit for uh, a local parks department in Davis, in Michigan, on September 7th. And that's actually a cool show because that's uh, me and Zach Martina and Bill Bouchard and uh, Mike Stanley and Dave Landau. Nice. All the show. Good, yeah. So it's, it's a show full of killers. So it's going to be cool. Hell yeah. That yeah. is a show full of killers. Yeah. So other than that, just, uh, you know, getting through the uh, rest of the year on the road. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's Back to Indianapolis yes. real quick. Have you ever been to um, the Sybaris Hotel? In yes, I have. You've been to the Pervert Paradise? Mm -hmm. We just got back from it. And how was it? It was perverted. Yeah. <laughs> I loved yeah. it. We pulled it's in. It's a fucking water slide in your hotel room. It's, yeah, yeah, they have a, a sex swing in some of the rooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but saddle not your, up. No, no swing in your room? Of course there's a swing oh, okay. in your room. Oh, okay. You sit in some of the rooms. Or? We upgraded. Oh, wow. <laughs> we pull in. <laughs> Is it an upgrade, really? So we, I we, want we, a sex teeter-totter. That's what I want. That's what, More than a swing. That's called a liberator. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
this is this is a way better fit than I thought it was going to be. So I told you not to pull focus. However, <laughs> too late. <laughs> we, we we went there. We booked it online because we we you know I said I want to go to Indianapolis. Um, I love Indianapolis. I sure. love Indianapolis. Oh, it's a great town. It's wonderful. And uh, so we booked it online, the Sivers Hotel, and it's very expensive. It's like five hundred bucks. Did you a know night. what you were getting into? No, 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 no. Okay. And uh, so we thought, you know, it's a private hotel room with a pool in it. We thought, oh, we're, we're just paying extra for our own private pool. And we just didn't want to be around other people or children. It really was our right. whole gig. And so we get there, and it looks like a, it's very nice and clean. It looks like a retirement. Yeah. You know, there's yeah, it's like a little condo village. Exactly, kind of yeah. little bungalows. And yeah. we get there, there's a mirror above the bed. There's a fireplace. There's a full-on hustler shop in the lobby. And yeah. I was like... Right. Here we Max go. out the credit card. Absolutely. <laughs> right. I was like, what in the world is going on in Indianapolis? And I love the fact that you had your kids with you, too. That, that was fantastic. <laughs> well, you leave in the car. <laughs> <laughs> they're going, down, the they're going down the slide. <laughs> the liberator. Get the kids on the liberator. The nice thing about that slide is they don't have to run Stretch water down it to make it slick. It's just already <laughs> slippery. It's self lubed. It is yeah. self lubed. It's just it's, uh, high tide. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, place. Yeah, that, I, I love the that. Sivers. I don't know that it exists anywhere else. I, I don't know. Uh, well, okay, all right. for those of you out there, and if you would like to sponsor us, please do. <laughs> <laughs> but they have them in Chicago, okay. Indianapolis, and somewhere else. They have, they have a, a couple of them. Well, there's also a chain. I don't know if it's really a chain anymore. Uh, the south side of Indianapolis has a hotel called the Red Carpet Inn. It sounds is it shady? very classy. It sounds it? shady as hell. Uh, yeah, so it's... Um, it's a hotel, and you could go like, at 1 o'clock every afternoon. They'll do a tour of the hotel because all the rooms are themed. So there's like a like one that is like a cave, and then there's one that's like uh, a desert prairie, and then there's one that's like a volcano. So this, is, this has got to be another pervert. Oh, it's absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a fuck <laughs> stop is all it is. But. Don't they also have, um, was it in, uh, not Evans? Yeah, Evansville. They have the um, nudist um, camp. Probably. I'm doing a new news colony in Bloomington September 1st. What Stand are you up? Gonna wear? Yeah. Are you going to be naked on stage? I am not. Because okay. you, you know Rich Reagans and Keith McGill did that. Yeah. Did you hear that story? Uh, I, yeah. yeah. I just love when yeah. fucking Keith McGill gets up there naked, comes off stage, and Rich is like, I'm not going up naked. What are you doing? No, you just need to wear a t shirt and just Winnie the Pooh. Just Porky Pig? Just Porky Pig. <laughs> yeah. Porky Pig. Yeah. It's not happening. Come on, shave. Shave everything. By then, I uh, this may have already happened, but I'm just now. Oh, she means like the eyebrows, the area. Oh, just yeah. shave everything. Just Go up like there, powder. Pink Floyd. So I, I yeah. look like an exclamation point. That's what I look like. It's not going to happen. Uh, What's at the awesome. bottom of your body? Well, I can't talk about it. Uh, yeah. What is it? It's F against FCC regulations. You can't talk about that. I don't, I don't let you lose a sponsor. Sybaris. <laughs> uh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, Sybaris is. That's a. Yeah, when you're going there, you're, you're you're putting in some time. You know what you're doing. You know what you're getting into. So uh, you know, um, you talk about like w one of the things you talk about in your act. I'm not I'm not going to talk about your act, but okay. one of the things you talk about is uh, one of your roommates was very into a certain yeah. TV show type things. Yeah. Um, are you into any TV shows? Like like you get into Survivor this, or this is okay. This is conspiracy this stuff. Is sad. Aliens. Uh, I'm into like Master Chef. No, that's the, like I that. love Master yeah. Chef. No, no, that's no. what I binge. Like, uh, uh, here's what happened. Here's a typical off night for me. <laughs> here's the story. This this is this may have happened over the last four days. Uh, I've been on the road pretty much nonstop. Uh, I get home, I'm, you know, I'm probably f six episodes behind on Master Chef. Current camp. season, season yeah, ten. Season ten. Fantastic. I still have previous seasons I have not yet watched. Oh no, so you got to do that. To. Yeah, you so got to do that. So once I get caught up, then I'll go back. Okay. So uh, I don't know which episode I'm watching, but I, I get home and. Uh, I have friends who I get supplies from, unlike you don't know who to talk to. So I, I go home and I, I take I eat a gummy and I turn on MasterChef and then the next thing you know I'm crying uh, because someone so baked this beautiful <laughs> tort or whatever and I'm just beside myself. I'm like, this is amazing. And I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> Did you see the crab ex episode when I they did, did the king? The, oh yes. my god! Can you yeah. believe? He, and he said that king crab, like one king crab, was five hundred dollars. Five hundred bucks. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. And, and I'd probably pay it because I love king crab. It's, love it. It's, it amazes me that they. Hey, this is five hundred dollars. Here, fuck it up. Right. Because I remember, like, in art class, like we had. 
same. <laughs> we had like uh, store brand sharpies, right? Because we couldn't. We were just afraid we we're gonna fuck up a sharpie, right? This is a five hundred dollar piece of you know just luxury. Here. And you, you just watched two Master Chef, Masasori yeah. Morimoto and Gordon Ramsay, yeah, butcher them down so all the meats out perfectly, and yeah. they're like in the shape of a crab. We're in the shape, yeah, right? Amazing. Of course, yeah, it has balance. to be, yeah. Yeah, I, I would love to go on that show. I want I want to do I want to go on Chopped. I want to be on Chopped. You want to be on Chopped? Yeah. Do you uh, do you cook a little bit? Uh, I, I like to cook, but I don't know how to fucking cut shit. I don't. I mean, I'm not. Oh, precise. see, now I would watch that episode. Do you I'm not precise. At all. We should we should write in and write a like a comedians Chopped like like there's, yeah. get three three four comedians to go on Chopped. <laughs> That'd be a great episode. Well, do you watch uh, Nailed It? I think it's on Netflix. Uh, I I don't watch. I know Nicole. I know of Nicole. No, yeah, exactly. I'm a fan of hers, but she's coming here. So. Yeah, she'll be they here in a month. They have people who cannot bake on there, and I, honey, I'll live for that. Yeah, yeah. I, I like any kind of competition show like that. Yeah, yeah, like that kind of stuff. Uh, Master Chef Junior, she's stop. I'm gonna cry it, my ass. These <laughs> these little kids. kids that can cook like that. I'm like, you came from a, a slave oh, shop or yeah, something. There's no rest- like, and they're naming the dishes and yeah. the, the style and how they. Well, and like, there's there's gotta be a these. ton of behind the shit scene that we're there. Has, there's, to there's, to be. There has yeah. to be. Yeah, but like, I mean, yeah, from coming from a retired cop. I am a huge pussy when it comes to TV programming. Like the, the weirdest things will just set me off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like. Well, depending on the gummy, you know. Uh, even without, I mean, I, I right. blame the gummy a lot, but it's uh, a lot of it's just me. I feel that way about Hallmark commercials. I mean, I go to movies. I get worked up. I mean, I go to movies and I have no problem sobbing in a movie theater with strangers around. I I'm a sucker for like that like I watched all the survivors all mm-hmm. right and always when they had that when there's like six or left or whatever and their family show up yeah oh yeah. fuck it it's Niagara Falls yeah. I'm like like <laughs> no, it's it's his son it's so long I mean I'm just I'm balling yeah it's I mean, great <laughs> I, uh, I like I mean I like chick flicks a lot yeah so like, if it's well written I, I love it. Um, I'm not big on him. Yeah, well, no, I wouldn't as imagine you are. You're you're, you're <laughs> way more together than I am. <laughs> She's like, I like 300. That's yeah. that's my yeah. movie. See, I don't like I don't like anything that's like a any kind of fiction or even co- a comedy movie. So like, people being happy in a relationship cannot be bothered with it. Okay. Cannot be bothered. with <laughs> She's like, with this it. is totally fiction. Yeah, clearly, your <laughs> husband does not listen to this, right? No. He didn't know where you are, right? I don't think he speaks English, though, to tell you the truth. So that's why she doesn't know his name. He's an illegal. (laughs) So. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Now. Now now we're back together. How is it that you own a mask and all that shit, but you can't, you have no weed connection? That's amazing to me. Because you can go to, you you can go to Cirilla's, I guess, and get all that shit. Well, yeah, I can't go to Walmart. I mean, I go to the gas station and I'm like, I see you got CBD oil. Let me live my best life. That's all I can do. Like, I try to find the dirtiest gas station, and I'm like, hey, you don't need the, what's in the bag? And you don't need like, to do that. You the don't. dumpster, go get in it. That's why they think you're a cop. Cause <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I pull out my wallet and still has my badge to pay for everything. T- t- tonight is, uh, you know, what, what's it, Creekside Live? What are the, what's this called? Oh, Creekside Live. Uh, the, the fake pond yeah, side live. Sh- yeah, yeah Lakeside Live. Yeah, there'll be 25 people out there tonight that you can get fucking cartridges from on the spot. What do I do with the cartridge? Do I insert it? Like, well, is it like a suppository? <laughs> Let me help you with that. We're, we'll discuss that after the podcast. Now that's bonus footage. <laughs> that's bonus footage right I would there. pay $2. <laughs> to, to find out where you could get no, the hookup? Well, I mean, no, I mean, I want to be the one. Oh, to, yeah. to, to do the, I'm Just slingshot it in there. You know, that's, Wayne, that's, I want to be more intimate about no, this. He's, he's I'm be not a closer. monster, right? Yeah, I, I, mean, he's, I mean, come on. I just said I like chick flicks. You think I'm going to use a slingshot? Well. Come on. I mean, you know, chopsticks maybe. Not a slingshot. Right. No, that's right. delicate. I, just, I, I guess I – see, I don't think I give off a prior law enforcement vibe or, like, any kind of narc vibe. Maybe an angry mother. You definitely have a Karen vibe, too. Oh, I am. Yes. I, I need to speak to your manager. I need to speak to the, your district manager. You're, no, she's, she's bypassing the local yeah, one. Yeah. Um, but they're just, like – even people I've known for forever are, like, I'm not trusting you with that information. Yeah. Like, you know, it's a no go. Well, you blog everything. You're like Doogie Howser. Are you a blogger? You know, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I. I uh, she's got like 17 notebooks that she's working on right now. I do. Yeah. I. Uh, She'll send me pictures. What do you think of this? Bit? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're working on bits, but you're not going to do. S- I, I wrote comedy. jokes for a long time. I have yeah. no interest in doing stand up because if I'm standing up, I she can't hit, sit and watch the show. She she helps people with their stuff. She'll she'll bounce ideas off them. Okay. She writes a lot of blogs. She's done a lot of stuff for what? 
Yeah, yeah. like BuzzFeed, all the garbage stuff that's on like Facebook. Yeah, she, she right. writes for them. That's me. Okay. Yeah. That's what yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, when are you coming back here? Next week. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Love with Matt Holtz. Oh, hold 10. on. What's, no, in two weeks. I'm okay. sorry. And who, who? 15th, 16th, and 17th with Sarah Tiana. Sarah Tiana. All right, fantastic. And that's a comedy off Broadway, mm -hmm. if we haven't mentioned it. In a, in a comedy off Broadway, which is one of the best clubs in the nation. It's a favorite club of a lot of road my, comics. My home club now, thankfully. Absolutely, it's home club, and we love Matt to death here. So. Um, speaking of good relationships, you always have a good relationship with the owner here. Yes. I mean, yes. Hopefully, uh, he's, hopefully New Year's Eve this year. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Four or five in a row. Yeah, that would be so. fantastic. Do, you, do we know who the headliner is yet? I have not heard. No. So uh, I, I have, I have uh, made the request. Well, awesome. So we'll see. And, uh, well, I hope that works out. That would yeah, be fun. I, I would love it. Hell yeah. So. Um, you got anything else? Any final thoughts? No, I need to see what I can I'll try, I'm going to try to parlay this weed connection and see what I can get out of it <laughs> tell that everybody when your retirement party is well uh, no, not everybody I, no not everyone because no. I'm going to be shot yeah um, uh, yeah I don't know maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's we'll, a Joe's Crab Shack 100% uh, aren't they closed no yeah. no the one in Louisville still open no you're, he's going to the closed one wow oh he's going to go to the closed <laughs> one uh, you know I, I, cheaper I, rent I will say this normally I have to we, we have so much hatred between us right now. <laughs> I'm shocked that I'm not buying her jewelry. I'm amazed that I haven't proposed to this woman yet. That's how much indifference she has for me, is that we totally should be planning an open bar. See, I really respond to this. And, and really some kind of a real shitty honeymoon. Like oh out of the God. country, so we to can, the Poconos. No, it's, got, it's got to be out of the country, so that people who speak other languages can see this fight. Yeah. So. <laughs> Tijuana. Oh yeah. my God, that's fucking hysterical, Matt. Thank you so much for no, being on the show, for man. Me. I appreciate it. I know it's off the wall and crazy, but that's what we we're going for. That's, so I'm fine with this. Yeah. When do I, what part of the two dollars do I get? <laughs> well, wow. is it like a door deal where I get like percentage of, the, of what he, comes in on my on mine? You get a free soda, sir. Oh, well, not if the assistant manager's here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Fred, do you got anything else? Uh, no, we're registered at Macy's. That's true. Uh, they, they are. Other than that. No, she actually meant Walmart, but hold they. On. <laughs> hold on, you're registered at Macy's. She said you we guys are. Oh, we are. I'm not allowed to Macy's. <laughs> well, that's why the other people are going to buy okay. our dishes. Oh, that you're going to because end up we with. can't go together, and you can't make up your mind. Just yeah. this back and forth. <laughs> I will tell. I will tell a real quick funny story. Please. So when when I got married to my my second wife, um, I hope she's gasping for air. Right now, but, uh, when I got married to her. We we uh, auditioned. We registered for I her gifts, so. and her mother used to sell those. Uh, what's that called? The Longenberger basket thing. The what? Have you ever yeah, heard I know what you're talking about. Longenberger baskets are like these expensive yeah. home party baskets. Yes. She was one of those, right? I do, yes. So we had a house full of that shit, and so my, my fiance at the time she registered. They had they had a line of pottery, right? So they had it was it was really nice stuff, I'm and sure it was. so. We registered for that, and we got the whole fucking set, like everything. The whole kit. And so it arrives after the wedding, and she never puts it in the cabinet. She continues to use these, like, you know those plastic plates that you buy, like, at Target that yeah. have, like, a watermelon on them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Continue to use those, and she never used the plate, the, the shit that we, audi that we again, auditioned. I mean, like, <laughs> Came with the audition. Those are for your guests. No, I'm going to take her time no. because I have a, a huge... They never came out of the box. They were still in the box mm -hmm. wrapped yeah. up. No, I'm going to so take her So then time. we also had uh, registered for a bunch of flatware. So when I moved out, I was 100% convinced that everything was in this room. She was kind of a hoarder. She didn't know what she had. No, I, I swiped it. That's how I furnished my first apartment. <laughs> Was with our wedding dishes and our wedding silverware. Brand new in the box. To this day, Facebook yard sale. never heard a word from her. Like, hey, where the fuck is all that pottery? Well, now you know. Oh, it's, that's wonderful. She never missed it, which is why. So why the fuck? Never mind. I don't. No. I don't want to know. Why? No, get into why it. Did, why did she register? Yeah, why? I have no fucking idea. The number of arguments we had over that pottery versus <laughs> why am I eating on something that has Scooby Doo on it? Right. <laughs> when we have nice stuff, I mean, it makes no sense. That's and nuts. I even tried to get her to donate that stuff, the the plastic stuff, to friends who had kids going off to college or something. And she right. Said, I'm not going to give that up. There's nothing wrong with it. 
what is wrong with you? That's crazy. Mm. So anyway, what I'm saying is, ladies, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> How many second dates do you get off that? <laughs> uh, I don't use to tell that story. And I should. Let them awesome. know what they're getting into right well, out of the look, gate. I'm, uh, I'm a comic who's on the road 47 weeks a year. Right. There is no woman who puts up with that schedule. I would love if my husband were gone 47 weeks of the year. Well, yeah, I think my wife would really like it if yeah, I was gone 47 weeks a year. You're the one. There's so much and that she's I can get done. The, and she's married. But it's got to... It's, it, you got to make it past a certain time. Like, like my wife and I have been married 18 years. Right. So we've seen each other enough. No, I Thank get you. it. No, I get it. Yeah. I know. That's, I, I need to find that female yeah. who has enough uh, of her own world that me being gone isn't catastrophic to her, her plans. Yeah. It's hard to find. And then when you meet someone and you sit down and you have a, you know, you have a first date or whatever and you have that conversation, then like, so you're never home on the weekends? No, never. Maybe you could rescue a Scientologist. I don't know who, who would rescue who, to be honest. That's <laughs> a great uh, bumper That's sticker. a great point. Yeah. That's a so, great point. Uh, so, yeah, if, if, if you're out there, let me know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, uh, it, uh, the Ego's Last Stand is now a dating app. Uh, so sure, why not? We have that going for our comics. Uh, again, Matt, thank, thank you so much Thanks for doing for this, dude. Thanks for having me, Josh. And, and Brandy, you know, you did your best. <laughs> you got anything else? No, no, I can't imagine. <laughs> Brandy, do you have anything? No, just uh, hashtag Christian Dads Who Vape. That's, and, uh... <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, for Matt, I'm Brandy Nicole. My name is Josh Sutton. You guys have a great night.